3DO. Nikolai Ironfist was the son of King Roland Ironfist of Enroth and Queen Catherine Griffonheart of Arathia. He was the last heir to the throne of the Kingdom of Enroth. Though overshadowed by the greatness of his two illustrious parents, Nikolai had still a rather interesting life. This is his story. When King Nicholas Grimhardt of Arathia lost both his wife and daughter by a marauder's attack, he felt that his rule over the land was failing. In a desperate attempt to strengthen his position, he arranged the marriage of his eldest and now only daughter, Catherine, to the new king of Enroth, Roland Ironfist. Catherine was sent in Enroth and became King Roland's queen. Soon after, the son Nicolai was born, who was named after Catherine's father. As the prince of Enroth and heir to the throne, Nicolai seemed destined for a life of pleasure and nobility. However, he was often dissatisfied and distant, a prisoner within his own father's castle, forbidden from departing castle Ironfist due to the dangers of the countryside. When Nicolai was still six years old, Roland departed for the northwest to seek out the missing Lord Kylborn. Instead, he found himself fighting the Cregans, who had invaded the world of Enroth that same year. Led by Xenofex, the ranks bolstered by the Cregan Queen, the devils quickly overcame Roland's army with the aid of the traitor Sulman, despite an early victory for Enroth at Creekspire. Roland was captured and later transported to Antagorich. Queen Catherine was left to rule the kingdom, and Nicolai was left apparently fatherless. Almost three years later, Queen Catherine sailed for the south to attend the funeral of her father, who had been poisoned by the Dazon spy Lord Hart. Erathe was in disarray. The Cregans, who still held Roland Ironfist as a captive, had captured Eafol and invaded Arathia with the aid of the overlords of Nyon. Queen Catherine led the defensive in what was later known as the Restoration Wars. With both rulers gone, Enroth was left in the hands of Regent Wilbur Humphrey and Nicolai himself, now only nine years old. King Roland Ironfist was freed and the Restoration Wars ended with the demise of King Xenofex. However, this was not the end, as Lucifer Cregan, the new king of Eafol, with the aid of his trusted general Zeron, tried to set the whole world on fire with a powerful artifact called the Armageddon's Blade. Queen Catherine and King Roland were reunited once more, but they couldn't return to Enroth before this new threat was dealt with. Back in Enroth, the Cregans that Xenofex left there known as the Cregan Hive, were pushing forward and tried to take over the continent. Still, the resistance was growing strong and four heroes of Enroth swore to get rid of the Cregan Scourge. When these heroes arrived at Castle Ironfist, Nikolai pleaded with them to take him to the Circus of the Sun. They agreed to do so, but he ran away to the Circus on his own, unknown to the four heroes. While Humphrey's warriors scoured the continent for the missing Nikolai, all were denied entry to Castle Ironfist. The heroes themselves struck down the circus, locating the prince and returning him to the castle. The days that Nikolai spent with the circus will play an important role in his life. Later in their quest against the Cregans, the heroes returned to Castle Ironfist under Melian's instructions hoping to free Archibald Ironfist, Nikolai's uncle, who was turned into a stone statue for usurping the throne during the Succession Wars. Archibald was the only person on the continent knowledgeable of a spell capable of sealing away the Cregan Hive, the Ritual of Void. However, to free him, the heroes required an artifact named the Third Eye, used by the wizard Tarnier to cast the curse upon Archibald on Roland's orders. Nikolai knew the location of the eye. It was hidden in the well of Castle Ironfist. With his help, the heroes located the eye and freed Archibald, who offered them the ritual before departing to plot against the kingdom. 
When the Kriegan Hive was ultimately destroyed, Nikolai and Humphrey personally commanded the four heroes in a ceremony. Over the following seven years, Roland and Catherine continued their campaigns against the Kriegans in Antagrich and Zadam. Nikolai, meanwhile, was left to rule Enroth, growing to further the quest in purging the remaining Kriegans from the land and leading attacks against them. However, the reckoning took a place, destroying the world. Queen Catherine and King Roland did not survive and were killed by the wave of destruction. Prince Nicolai had experience and survived the reckoning. When the walls of the castle Iron Fist started falling, Nicolai was buried under a mountain of rubble and got hit in the head. When he woke up, he was on the new world of Axioth in Drankheim city, in the continent of Rhys. Seemingly, he was unique. It appeared that all other survivors of the destruction, mainly those of Adagrich and Adam, had ended up on the continent of Iron East. Nikolai mistakenly interpreted the lack of Enrothians in the land as a sign that the Kriegans won and he was taken to their world. The saviors of Tzedian, a group of raiders emerging from Ravensford, encountered Nikolai a few weeks later. As natives of Axioth, the saviors could not understand much of Nikolai's story, having never heard of Roland Ironfist, Queen Catherine, the Kriegans, or even Enroth. Passing him off as a lunatic, they nevertheless heeded to his plea for assistance in raising money to fight the devils. By securing him a job working at the circus at the Cumberland Gathering, the saviors continued their quest to unite the Etzedians and defeat the Beldonian Horde. This was the life of Nikolai Ironfist. Starting as a prince of Enroth, he ended up working on a circus in a completely new world. With both his parents gone, Nikolai was the only living heir of Enroth, a world that no longer existed. But in the very end, Catherine and Roland's legacy still lived on with him. Thank you for watching. If you like what you see here, make sure you subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know what other parts of Hero Story Lord would you like to be explored next. See you next time. Cheers.